Hello Mission Hill Church family. It is Thursday. It is the time for our midday prayer time. Thank you so much for joining. May God bless you and uh, may God bless also those who will join us later in this prayer time. I want to go ahead and start with a prayer even right now. Everlasting Father, we thank you again for this time. We thank you, O oh God, for an opportunity again to call upon your name. O oh Lord, even on this uh, Thursday, O oh God, uh, midday, oh God, we thank you so much because you are good, you are full of grace, of love. We thank you for who you are. Bless this moment, O oh God. We thank you, Lord Jesus. In your name we pray. Amen. Amen. I'll just go ahead and read a few verses from Psalms 103. This is what the Bible says, my whole being praise the Lord. All my being praise his holy name. Everything about me, everything about you should praise the Lord. And he has done so many things. We have every reason, amen, to praise him. Listen to what the Bible says in, um, in, in from verse 2. Again, I will go to verse 3. My whole being praise the Lord. And do not forget all his kindness, all his benefits in certain version of the Bible. Do not forget all the good and great things that the Lord has done. And so what are those things that the Lord has done? In verse 3, he forgave, he, for, he forgives all my sins and heals all my diseases. He saves my life from the grave and loads me with love and mercy. You imagine that? Forgiveness of sins healing amen from diseases it is just so amazing god loads us with love and mercy his love and his mercy his saving grace it's just amazing that all this we can give god praise we can thank him we can worship him we can bless his holy name for all these things because guess what? It is a blessing from the Lord. His kindness, his benefits of a good father that he is. To provide forgiveness of our sins through Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to the Lord. Healing from diseases. We know our God still heals. He is an amazing God. One of his names is Jehovah Rapha, the God who heals. He who heal all your diseases. They praise the Lord. We thank God for healing. That yes, we can go to the hospital. Yes, we can get help. But we can trust the healer. Above and beyond anything else. He is the healer. And he can still heal our physical bodies. He's just amazing. He provides love. Uh, he provides love and mercy. It's so wonderful. To know our Father is love. And he is so merciful. Glory to Jesus. So we're just going to go ahead and thank God for this. And we're going to go ahead and pray for those issues. There are yet people out there that are not enjoying this benefit, these blessings from the Lord. Because they don't have a relationship with him. They don't know him that way. They may be thinking he has no deal with those things in their lives. While he's ready to offer those things free. God, he's a good God. Everlasting Father, we just want to say thank you. Thank you for the forgiveness of our sins. We're so grateful. Thank you, Jesus, for dying the cross of Calvary on our behalf so we can live. So we can have a relationship with our God. And we can call him our Father. We thank you that our sins, past, present, and future have been, for, have been forgiven already. Through Christ Jesus, we thank you. We thank you for healing. God, in this present life, we have so much testimonies. When we call upon your name, oh Lord, in difficult and physical issues, oh God, we have seen your hands at work where people recover, oh God, and get healed because of your grace and your mercy. You provide healing. So we thank you, Lord Jesus, for that. We bless your holy name. We thank you for your love and your mercy, God. We thank you for those things that you have provided, Lord. We bless your name, oh God. We thank you, O oh Lord Jesus Christ. We, we, we pray even right now, O oh Father, that you fill our heart, O oh God, with spirit of gratitude. To be grateful for who you are and what you have done in our lives, O oh God. To, to fill our heart with praise to your mighty name. Because you are so good and you have done so good for us. 
Be that exalted, O God. Be that worship, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Just as I said, we're going to go ahead right now and pray for those people out there that are not enjoying those benefits. We're going to pray for people that you know that are not saved, still living in sin, people that are living without hope, that God will open door, God will send somebody to them, that they will encounter the grace of the Lord, Jesus himself, and they will surrender to him, they will start a relationship with him in the name of Jesus. Will you join me even as we pray for the lost? Everlasting Father, we have a lot of people, some are friends from work, some in the neighborhood, some are only family members, oh God, and that's still struggling, oh God, in their relationship, oh Lord, with you, because they really did not totally surrender to you, or they don't even know you completely. They are aware of your existence, oh God, but they missed that relationship with you. So Lord Jesus, we know you die for the entire world, oh God, open door that they will be able to be saved, to get saved by you, through you, oh Lord. Because you are able. Open their heart to the gospel of Christ. Just send somebody to them, oh God. Speak to them through the power of your Holy Spirit. Even through, oh God, dream and vision, oh God. Talk to them, oh Father. We know you are full of love. And you love every human being on this planet Earth. Lord, I'm praying for those who are yet to discover your love. Who you are. And what you have done to this world through Christ Jesus. Lord, I'm praying, oh God, that you open up their heart. They will surrender to you in the name of Jesus. We bless your holy name. We give you all the glory, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. And then the same line, you know, say, he who heal all your diseases. We're going to pray for people that are sick, that God will bring healing. Some in the hospital, some at home. He is the healer, and he can heal. We're going to pray that God will bring healing. God will guide him. God will bless them with healing that only come from him because he's able. He's a good God. And we're going to pray for God to bring an end to coronavirus. It's still really um, attacking people's life, devastating this world. In certain region of the world, if either a new outbreak or it's just happening right now as we speak, many people are losing their lives. We're just going to pray. God, bring an end to this suffering. Bring an end to this pandemic. Heal people that are in hospital with coronavirus in the name of Jesus because he's, he can heal. He's the healer. If I last time, Father, we thank you so much because there's no one like you. We're praying for healing. We're praying for our friends and family members who got in hospitals right now. All across this nation and in the world to God bring healing and restoration because you are the healer. He who heal all our diseases. There's no disease that is beyond your reach or above your power. In fact, your name is exalted above any other name. So we bless your name, Jesus. We pray for healing and restoration. We pray that you touch people's life, O oh God, and heal. We pray, O oh God, that you bring an end to coronavirus, O oh God, an end to this pandemic, O oh Lord. That you heal people suffering with this virus in the hospital, at home, O oh God, wherever they are, Lord. You are a good God, a good Father. Do so for your glory, Lord. We thank you, Lord. We bless your name. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. He provides love and mercy. He is full of love and mercy. Are you feeling not loved this morning? You wake up feeling abundant, rejected. You maybe think the Lord is really not turning, answering your prayers. He may be turning his back from you. I want you to stop feeling that way. Because you can have the assurance of his love. In fact, his love was fully demonstrated through Christ Jesus. The Bible says, For God so loved the world, and he sent his only begotten Son, that whoever believe in him shall not perish, but have eternal life. So he loved the whole entire world. And you can be so sure that this time, God loves you. He loves you. With an unchanging and everlasting love. Because that's who he is. So we're going to thank God for his love. We're going to pray that God strengthen us in your love. And we're going to pray for mercy. You know, whenever we struggle in our lives, God, we claim your mercy. Be merciful to us, O oh God, by strengthening us, O oh Lord. 
by continue pouring down your blessings upon our lives because you are merciful. Amen. Join me in prayer. Everlasting Father, indeed, you're full of love. And we can rest assured that you love us, oh God. It's not based on what we have done, oh God, but because you are love. Help us, oh God, to understand that. Help us to be strengthened, oh God, in the love of God. Help us, oh God, to be encouraged in your love. Lord, we thank you for your mercy. We thank you, God, because you are merciful. You are full of grace and love, full of mercy and truth. So, God, we thank you. Lord, this morning, be merciful to us, O oh Lord. Be merciful to us in all our ways, O oh Lord Jesus, that your name will be glorified. Bring us closer to you, O oh Father. Let every action, whatever we do, O oh God, to bring glory and honor to your name. We give you the glory, God. We thank you for Mission Hill Church family. Every member, oh God, every visiting member, Lord, we declare your blessings upon our lives in the name of Jesus. Continue bringing us together in unity and in love as one body that love and seek God with all their hearts because there's no one like you, Jesus. So, Lord, we pray, we plead them for mercy and grace and favor, even at this very moment, that your name will be glorified forever. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for this day. Thank you for Mission Hill Church. Thank you, God, for all what you've been doing and what you will do and what you're about to do even today. Will you receive all the glory, Lord, as we pray with thanksgiving in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. 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 I just want to thank you so much for praying with us. Thank you so much for making a stop during your busy day to just take a few minutes and just pray. That will bring glory to the name of the Lord, for will strengthen your faith, for so that sometimes you will have many reasons to praise Him because of what God has done or will do in your life. Amen. We thank God for this day. Thank you for joining us. May God bless you and have a wonderful rest of your day.